Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the new upcoming 4.2.1 Untethered Jailbreak. Now there aren't actually going to be many visuals in this video because I'm just going to be talking and basically uh, discussing a couple things and just different release dates and which jailbreaks to look out for and basically just like a general type uh, answer video for some questions that I know a lot of people have been having. So uh, first up, I'm just going to talk about this supposed uh, Ruby Rain jailbreak which was supposed to come out by Geohot and uh, I have a little image right here it's just exactly the same thing as Black Rain and Lime Rain but instead of a actual black or green version of a raindrop it is a red version so uh, now a lot of people were saying that that was going to be the next untethered 4.2.1 or 4.3 jailbreak well I may have agreed with that a while back but now that Geohot is being fixed faced uh, with Sony and with the whole deal uh, with jailbreaking the PS3 and having to fight court cases and uh, whatnot, I really don't think that Ruby Rain is actually going to make it to uh, the actual spotlight and to actually come and answer our prayers for a 4.2.1 untethered jailbreak. Now with that being said, uh, Comex is supposedly working on a secret jailbreak and when someone actually asked him if uh, he was going to wait until 4.2.1 5, which is what the actual Verizon iPhone will be shipped with uh, is released or until 4.3 is released if he's gonna wait till then until he actually releases his secret untethered jailbreak and he said that seems too far away so which leads most people to believe that he's actually gonna release it for 4.2 and 4.2.1 well I don't actually know too much about that other than what I just said uh, no details have really been released on that so I cannot give a uh, definite release date on that one uh, so you could just be looking out for that uh, and probably you want to keep in mind that it might be out before the Verizon iPhone gets launched and 4.3 gets launched now building upon that Red Snow uh, has 0.9.7 and right now it is in uh, just the beta stages as of basically just all Red Snow is basically in beta stages and it's always been basically just a beta. But as of now, Red Snow actually only works for users who have their 4.2 beta 3 SHSH files saved and a 4.2 beta 3 IPSW and also they have to be again on a Mac. So uh, it doesn't work for the majority of people uh, you can still get a tethered jailbreak on 4.2 and 4.2.1 however there is no untethered jailbreak for 4.2 or 4.1 that's really offered by red snow but the developers of red snow are working really hard to port it back to 4.1 so if you have your 4.1 shsh files downloaded then you will for sure be able to get an untethered jailbreak on either 4.2 or 4.2.1 and you'd also have to just simply download the 4.1 IPSW and just point red snow to it and you'd be good to go but for the people who just recently bought their iDevices and they don't have their 4.1 SHSH files backed up or they either forgot to do it green poison is probably the most likely one uh, that we will all end up turning to uh, here is just the simple green poison logo and uh, the developers of green poison have confirmed for a fact that uh, green poison will be untethered for 4.1 2.1 and 4.2 and it will not require any SHSH files so that is good for everybody who doesn't have their SHSH files backed up. I actually predict that Green Poison will be released after Red Snow is released, uh, the Red Snow that works with your 4.1 SHSH files. So uh, you might want to look forward to Green Poison and the majority of people will actually have to wait until Green Poison is released instead of Red Snow. Also, building upon that, I get messages every day. Uh, I not only get personal messages on YouTube, I get comments on all of my videos that aren't even related to how to jailbreak your uh, iDevice. I get uh, Twitter messages all the time asking me when the release date is going to be or if I can speed up the release date. I'm going to first start by saying 
I honestly have no idea when it's going to be released. The best I can do is make estimates and uh, attempt to figure out when it's going to be released just by the news that we're provided with and by just the little snippets of uh, tweets and information that we get from the developers every once in a while. So I cannot make a 100% accurate uh, guess. And even when I do tell people that it should be out within the month or it should be out in a couple of weeks or it'll be out in like a month or two, uh, they still want an exact date. I cannot do that and I cannot stress that enough. People will probably still ask me in the comment section of this video when it will be released. I honestly do not have a firm solid date to give you guys. Now my second point is that I cannot actually hasten the release of any 4.2.1 or 4.2 untethered jailbreak. I'm not a developer. I don't know how to do that so I cannot uh, make it be released faster. I'm sorry and obviously it has to be released before I can make a tutorial on how to do it so I cannot make it go any quicker or any smoother so uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, just please comment and uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below let me know when you think it's gonna be released just whatever you want just put it down in the comment section below and uh, as always just rate this video just give it a thumbs up uh, even if you don't like what I'm telling you in this video if you're a subscriber to me just please give me a thumbs up it really helps out and it helps this video get uh, recognized also uh, just subscribe to me to be updated when it is finally released I will have first coverage on it you can also follow my Twitter for more updates uh, I will have a link to my Twitter in the more info so again I hope you guys like this video and until next time this is ICU signing out